Hello and welcome to another gear motor tips video from Bodine. Today we're going to show you how to wire our 24 volt brushless DC class 1 division 2 entire gear motor for industrial remote and battery powered applications. We'd also like to show you our new redesigned smaller control box that will be available by the end of this year. First we open up the control cover by removing the four screws. Next, feed the two DC power leads through the conduit hole in the control enclosure. Then we plug in the positive and negative 24 volt quick connectors on the control board. Now you can connect the 24 volt power supply to a 115 VAC power outlet. The gear motor control receives power. The green power indicator LED on the PC board turns on. Turn the built-in speed pot on the side of the control enclosure to regulate the gear motor drive shaft output speed from 10 to 100 percent. It's that simple. To connect the I.O. box you will need to identify the J4 connector on the gear motor speed control and unplug the wiring for the local speed pot. Then move the wire harness and connector for the local pot to the side and insert the cable for the remote I.O. to the control. Now you can plug in the remote wiring connector into the J4 socket on the control board. See user manual 0740116A, page 9 for reference. We now connect the power to the 24 volt power supply and turn on the I.O. box. Use the enable contact for remote on-off operation. With the FBR forward brake reverse switch in the on position and the remote speed pot turned up, the gear motor drive shaft will start turning. Use the remote speed pot or an analog 0 to 5 volt DC input signal to regulate the gear motor output speed. With only one simple connector change, we can configure this 24 volt brushless DC gear motor to change from local to remote operation. We hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching. 